determine the components of f that is f here that's my vector f that act along rod ac so i need to find the com determine the uh, component of f that acts along ac so that's basically this 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 projection here uh, and perpendicular to it also, so that I need two components of this. One is basically along the line AC, and the other one is perpendicular to it. B is located at the midpoint of rod, so B is in the center. So once they say B is in the center, you can easily figure out where the position is. Okay. <clears throat> <clears throat> so, the very first thing is that we have got F and we have to convert this into Cartesian vector form. We know the position, so we can get B, B, D out because we know all the details here. This in the midpoint to make life easy but a bit lengthy. What you can do, you can do find R, R, O, B first. And then you can find R O D, and then you can do R O B. It's from, it's from B to A D, so that's R O D minus R O B. You will get your position vector uh, R B D. That's a long route, or in simple words, or another way, you know the, the distance, all distance are given. So you can find the position vector B, D. From the position vector B, D, you can find unit vector B, D. And that unit vector is the same for F. And therefore, you can easily find your F in vector Cartesian form. So that's, I just summarized it again for you. You know that. <clears throat> you know you need to find the unit vector A, C. The unit vector of AC, the unit vector of AB, the unit vector of BC, they are all the same because unit vector is the magnitude and gives you, it only gives you the direction. Okay, so you need to find the unit vector AB, <coughs> sorry, <coughs> unit vector AB or AC or BC, and then you do a dot product between F and uh, ac you will find the the angle once you got the angle you can get the the projection the x the projection of f on a b ac and you can also find the perpendicular remember using Pythagoras theorem or just i mentioned uh, adding subtracting angle so let us have a look <clears throat> so what we've got is our BD, that's the position vector, RBD. No issue. We've got our RBD. We, we, we are after, uh, um, so this, this, this part, this part, what is this part? This part is unit vector BD. Oh, come on. BD. Sorry unit vector b d am i right yes sir. yes sir. so it's yes, unit sir. vector so i've got my f also in vector cartesian form that's given here uh, so r a c now uh, i've got my f in cartesian form i need the unit vector a c and uh, uh, unit vector a c is also here so i then do the the dot product I got the dot product. Remember, you do this dot product, which is basically f cos of theta. So f cos of theta. And that's how I got the perpendicular out, uh, parallel out. And similarly, using this, I can get the perpendicular out. Is that OK? Is that clear to everyone? So can you repeat the last two steps? OK, last two steps. OK, so. Uh, so you can easily get this out, am I right? 
that's the force in cartesian yes. vector form okay yes. you got your position vector r a c r a c that is this one okay so you can have your position vector r a c or you can have your position vector r a b or b c anyone so they've given r a b because it's easy because your dimensions are given so you've got your position vector r a c from position vector r a c you can easily get your unit vector a c am i right is that clear yes sir okay so once i've got my two vectors uh this one and this one i can do the dot product of both and you know the dot product of a vector uh, with a unit vector uh, you will get the parallel component out the projection here is yes, that sir. clear yes sir. and once you've got this rest is easy is that clear uh, sir the projection will be about the ac yes on the ac line okay Thank you, remember i've got this here and this is my unit vector that's my f when i do f dot unit vector i get this one here the projection on a unit on the uh, a unit vector is that clear yes sir 